So it's been 15 minutes. I'm really cranky. It's hard to relax. Constantly finding myself in thoughts. Especially since it's very late right now. But I know that uh, usually for the first 40 minutes, it'll take me time to kind of find that, you know, that zone. So I'm okay with it. Everything hurts, especially my back, here, the lower back. It's completely, um, the muscle is completely tense. And my entire face is, you know, burning with itch, the itch to scratch. Here, a lot of here, but I'm uh, avoiding scratching because I know from a lot of experience that if I scratch even once, it will, I will, I will, I will have a five time worse itch in other areas of my body. There's a big improvement now. Uh, pains are much less severe and I'm uh, thinking a lot less. getting even better thoughts substantially removed it's much easier to focus to have my awareness on the actual physical world not in my head still have the pains in my lower back, but I don't.
focus on them as much. Back pains still there. It's definitely a bitch. Um, hopefully, everything is getting a bit easier. Uh, the breath is getting a bit nicer. It actually feels enjoyable. warm feeling here, which helps me um, concentrate on my breath because it feels good. So I almost fell asleep like four times. That's what happens when you uh, don't have your back straight. But when you meditate really late. Uh, but there's one thing I like about kind of losing consciousness and waking up. It's that when you wake up, super sharp and you're instantly focused it's like you snap into reality and just you start at a really good place so I actually had it happen multiple times in the past that I would fall asleep multiple times and every time I would actually wake up more focused and mindful. That's why I say never judge what goes on, what happens when you meditate. There's no such thing as a good meditation. There's no such thing as a bad meditation. Whatever happens in the meditation is what needed to happen became angry it means you had some anger to release if you just kept thinking for the first 85 percent of the meditation it just means that you had too much thought momentum and it had to slow down first If my back hurts, again, I just take it as another challenge that I need to face.
the last 15, 20, sometimes 10 minutes. That's what I do this for. as I try to procrastinate the meditation, once you sort of get in the habit, then the last 10, 15, 20 minutes are incredible. Because suddenly even the pain in my back, I don't really notice it anymore. It's there, I can feel it, but it's not like it doesn't even matter so much. You can suddenly hear all the ambient nose noises in the background. You just can't hear when your thoughts are just attacking you. So when I'm meditating, I end up loving the video once I finish. These are my two goals that I will remain in there for today. It's about 4.30 a.m. I have only one goal today that I haven't accomplished out of the usual 30 that I do every day, and that's coaching. I did not have a coaching call today. My bad. The first goal that I missed since uh, the last 15 days, and This is about the one hour mark. As I've said, this wasn't uh, my best meditation, not by, by belief, by far. Because I started really late, by like 3.30 a.m. and I was already tired, number one. Number two is because I'm filming it, which really distracts me and number three is because I started this with already very low energy and willpower but it, it doesn't matter because the consistency is what creates the results. This is just like a marriage where you want to be there when it's good, but you also want to be there when it's bad, or else you're not going to get the good. 
so I'm willing to do a hard meditation knowing it won't be easy or very productive because that builds up the willpower so that tomorrow when I meditate it will be kick-ass meditation this video helps. I know it's not very encouraging probably, but what the heck. You can't only show the good parts and expect people to be motivated. So, um, thanks for watching, as always.